Hi, it's Josh from Under the Table Hot Sauce. I'm here with my friend, the star of the show, Jimmy Farrow. Yeah, what's up, JB? Nah, nothing. It's been a hot summer, and for all your barbecue needs, you can go to UndertheTableHotSauce.com. 13 unique flavors to choose from, created and bottled in a Long Island kitchen. UndertheTableHotSauce.com. Let's go chow, JB. Let's do it. All the flavor, twice the burn. And I, I, you know what, I, uh, you were on Dark Side of the Ring a couple of weeks ago, and I want to talk about that with you, but before you go into and tell everybody your experience with Dark Side of the Ring, the one thing I got out of it is you and Brutus. Number one, I love the fact that you still call him Brutus, and obviously I have to call him Brutus and Hulk Hogan because I'm not in that, in that real one, but you... Still call him Brutus. But anyway, you could see the love and the respect that both of you have for each other. And, like, when you said you love love, you guys definitely are the love connection. So kudos there. Thank you. Thank you. I do. I love him. And I, I, I've never called him by his name. Name. I don't like his name. Yet. I mean, <laughs> that's terrible. But, you know, I mean, even Hogan said Ed's dead. You know, he, he calls Brutus Brutus, you know, Brutai. So I just, I met him as Brutus and he's, yeah, I mean, he's, he's my Brutus. He's my, you know, beef cock, I like to call him. <laughs> All right. So tell us about Dark Side of the Ring. What happens? How does this happen? How did it happen? Like, what, um, do they reach out to you? How does this whole work? Well, we had done the Marty Jannetty Dark Side. Um, and shortly after I got a message saying, you know, we really loved you and Brutus together. We'd like to do a dark side Brutus, but we want to have you on as well because of the dynamic. Um, so, of course, I negotiated myself one hell of a deal. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, and we made arrangements to film. And um, everybody was great. Stu Stewart, the uh, producer, director, he was fabulous. I love him. Everybody from Soup to Nuts was nice with the exception of one person Tara, who turned out to be a tyrant. I don't like her, but she's not with the dark side anymore, thankfully, uh, or Vice TV. Um, you know, and they came over, they, they they did it so good. And, you know, Brutus and I were with the golf cart scene. There's so much more on the golf cart. Like, we were stupid. Brutus was bitching. He almost ran over one of our neighbors. Um, you know, we just had so much fun. And we had everybody dying. And then whoever was in the car listening, because we were mic'd up, they were all dying laughing because, you know, Brutus and I, we have such a good relationship. There's a lot of really great banter. Um, and like you said, like people, when they meet us and they see us together, they see our dynamic. And it's it's really, it's very loving. Um, but it's also respect. We respect each other a lot. Um, he's been through a lot in his, in his life, you know, the accident and whatnot and, you know, failed marriages, you know, so he's been, he's been through a lot and he's, he's all heart. I mean, he really, if, if you knew him to see the level of, you know, commitment and love to everything, his daughter, he loves, he loves her to death. They don't have much of a relationship now because of the breakup and whatnot but he loves her so much and you know he's just waiting patiently you know until uh whatever time comes that they're able to reunite the one thing though i thought i got out of that too is it made me feel really bad was i felt like he misses that relationship uh with hulk hogan um it almost like he wouldn't not that he was going to talk bad about him, but you could tell that he has really nothing bad to say. Like, he, 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 I don't know. That, that's the way it came across that he really misses that relationship. You know, he, that was before the uh, Theo, he was on Theo. You know, the thing is, it's, and it's all about me that they, the two of them never had a problem, never had a fight. It's, it's about me. Um, Hogan doesn't like me um, and Brutus, God bless him, you know, stands by my side. Um, he does. He, of course he misses the, the friendship, but you know, 
Terry has done Brutus wrong. Um, with the, he talks about Brutus. He talks about me all the time. It's really, it's disgusting. Um, I kind of, I mean, I kind of understand. Like he was going, Hogan was going through a situation, the whole Bubba the Love Sponge sex scandal thing. Um, and the weekend that we came down here before we moved, it was all sex talk all weekend with the Hulkster. Hulkster had a lot of questions about me and Brutus, our sex life. Brutus had, uh, this is TMI, but had like what they call a Jacob's Ladder, right? Like piercing on his penis. Um, had like six, yep. you know, and, you know, Hogan was really interested in that. Well, can you feel that? Like, I'm like, uh, you know, I don't, what do you say? No, yes. I mean, none of your business. Um, but he was really into how many times a week do you guys have sex? And I'm good for three times a week. And, you know, I mean, it was just sex, sex, more sex talk. Um, but apparently Jennifer, who wasn't there on the Bubba the Love Sponge night when we went to the racetrack, I didn't know that it was also fresh and that she hung out with Bubba and Bubba's wife. She probably just took one look at me and was like, oh, fuck, no. Mm -mm. Nope, yeah, no, 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 mm -mm. no. Not that I would go for Hogan. He's not my type at all. I don't like arrogant men. I got to go back to the Brutus thing, though. The piercings in the penis. What is, like, yeah. shit? Does I that hurt? Know. I don't, I got, I told her, get rid of that shit. I don't like it. That's like the devil. Get rid of that. Mm. <laughs> well, did you ask him like, what made you do that? Well, I almost chipped a tooth once and I was like, that has to go. Um, I think, you know, he has his nipples pierced. I think he just, <laughs> I think he just went through like a thing, you know, um, you know, wanted to you know try, do whatever. Maybe it feels good sex wise i don't know but like i said i'm not chipping any teeth because he's got to look weird pretty whatever you want to call it my boy loose out there goes monty going back to the dick talk i just i just i was just i had to ask it's like i'm sorry like i i don't know man piercing your penis it's, seems a little rough. I, you know what i would hate to be the guy that had to do the piercing that's all i'm saying like and it was dude it, it was it was a guy who did the piercing. I'd be like, mm, uh, no. Yeah, that's what I mean. What does the guy like hold it and like? This like, I don't even know how that works. They got to they pull yeah, well, out that's... the skin with forceps and then you know stick oh a needle. Uh, and you know how sensitive guys are with their you know their balls and stuff like that. Like I, I was cringing. I was like, oh, I cannot imagine somebody down south you know trying to pierce things i mean my situation is a little different than his he had more to work with than i do obviously but i wouldn't i would never it's not for me it's not for me well i'm sure brutus appreciates you telling the world that his penis has <laughs> well it's gone now this he doesn't have yeah. that anymore. i i got rid of that pretty quick so let me ask I, you I, I don't mean to stick on this subject sorry loose but when you get your ear pierced, you still have a hole in it. Like, does the penis still have a hole in it, or is it like is there any? I haven't, I haven't looked. Like I, <laughs> I'll check. I'll let you know next time we talk. 